Welcome back to Motor Authority Philippines A your trusted channel for everything cutting edge in defense technology and military innovations across Southeast Asia and beyond. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most promising and talked about naval weapons in development, the Seabreaker anti-ship missile, expected to fully deploy by 2026. Imagine a missile that can fly under the radar literally a weaving through complex terrain, avoiding detection, and hitting its target with pinpoint precision. That's exactly what the Seabreaker promises. Designed to operate in the modern battlefield where threats evolve quickly and enemy defenses are growing increasingly sophisticated, the Seabreaker is not just another missile. It's a strategic game changer. And it's no wonder Southeast Asian navies, including those in the Philippines, are eyeing this weapon closely. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems of Israel, the Seabreaker was unveiled in mid-2021 as an next-gen naval and land-based anti-ship missile. And as we approach its projected 2026 deployment window, Military analysts and defense agencies are watching every update with keen interest. Why? Because it combines high precision, survivability in hostile environments, and adaptability across different platforms, from fast attack crafts to truck mounted coastal batteries. Let's talk about what makes the Sea Breaker stand out. First, its range. This missile can strike targets over 300 kilometers away a that's well beyond the horizon. For perspective, if launched from Palawan, it could reach waters near the Spratlys, offering a formidable deterrent in contested zones. That extended reach, when paired with its stealthy, low-altitude flight path and advanced guidance systems, gives operators a serious edge. Now, we know that many traditional anti-ship missiles follow predictable patterns a high arcs, radar signatures that are easily tracked by modern naval defense systems. But the Sea Breaker operates differently. It's a sea skimming missile. That means it flies just a few meters above the surface, hugging the contours of the water or terrain and making it extremely hard to detect until it's too late. But flight path is only half the story. What really sets the Sea Breaker apart is its brain. This missile is equipped with an advanced electro optical seeker combined with AI driven decision making. In simple terms, it's not just blindly flying to a set of GPS coordinates. The missile can recognize targets, differentiate between ships, and even reroute mid flight to avoid threats or select higher priority targets. That level of autonomy significantly reduces the need for human intervention in real time a big plus in electronic warfare conditions where GPS jamming and spoofing are common. Now here's a scenario. Let's say a hostile naval task force is moving toward Philippine territorial waters. Coastal radar picks them up. In a matter of minutes, a truck mounted launch rolls into position somewhere along the coast a maybe Palawan maybe zambles. The sea breaker is fired. Flying low, fast, and smart, it snakes its way across the ocean, changing course as needed, avoiding radar nets, and finally a silently it delivers a precision strike on the lead vessel. The rest of the enemy fleet scrambles, but it's already too late. That's the power of the sea breaker. Let's also talk about versatility. The Sea Breaker isn't just for coastal defense. It's platform agnostic. That means it can be launched from ships, land vehicles, and potentially even aircraft in the future. Raphael has designed it to integrate easily into various military systems, reducing the logistics headache of adapting new platforms for specific missions. For a developing navy like the Philippines, where budget and flexibility are crucial, this is a massive advantage. It allows the country to expand its maritime strike capabilities without overhauling existing assets. Another huge plus is survivability. 
The Sea Breaker is designed for what defense strategists call anti access slash area denial operations. That means it's perfect for contested environments where the enemy is actively trying to block your operations. Its small radar cross section, sea skimming profile, and AI enhanced targeting allow it to operate in complex, GPS denied environments. It's not just fast and deadly, A, it's also built to survive, adapt, and outsmart enemy defenses. Now, let's look at its potential integration into the Philippine Navy. As of 2025, the country has made significant investments into beefing up its coastal defense systems. The BrahMos missile system, jointly developed by India and Russia, is already on order. So where does the Sea Breaker fit? Well, instead of replacing existing systems, it complements them. The BrahMos is larger, supersonic, and heavily destructive, while the Sea Breaker offers tactical finesse, long loitering time, and smarter targeting. Think of it like having both a sledgehammer and a scalpel in your toolbox. Depending on the mission A whether it's deterring large enemy fleets or neutralizing smaller. Faster threats like corvettes or landing craft are the military can choose the right tool for the job. And in the tight corridors of the West Philippine Sea, that kind of flexibility matters. Of course, there are challenges. Defense procurement is never just about the hardware. Politics, alliances, budgets, and logistics all play a role. The Philippines has to consider its existing infrastructure, the cost of integration, and how a new missile system fits within its broader military modernization strategy. But from what we're seeing, the Sea Breaker is gaining attention not just in the Philippines but across ASEAN countries looking to boost their maritime defense posture. There's also the matter of future proofing. Warfare is changing. Drones, swarms and cyber attacks are the new normal. The Sea Breaker is one of the few missile systems being developed today that's actually designed for this modern battle space. Its artificial intelligence isn't a gimmick a it's a necessity. Being able to retarget mid-flight, identify decoys, and operate without direct human control gives it a distinct edge over legacy systems. And let's not forget its impact on regional dynamics. In the increasingly tense South China Sea, the introduction of such a smart and stealthy missile shifts the strategic calculus. Countries with limited naval assets can now pose a credible threat to much larger fleets. That's deterrence through smart technology, not brute force. Before we wrap up, one last point worth mentioning is cost effectiveness. While exact pricing details remain classified, Raphael has hinted that the Sea Breaker is designed with affordability in mind a making it ideal for smaller countries that need to maximize the value of every dollar spent on defense. That could be a decisive factor for the Philippines as it continues to modernize its armed forces under the Horizon 3 phase of AFP modernization. So, as we move toward 2026, keep an eye on the Sea Breaker. It's more than just a missile. It's a signal a that the battlefield of tomorrow will be smarter, faster, and far more unpredictable. And for countries like the Philippines, having systems like this could make all the difference between vulnerability and deterrence. Thanks for tuning in to Motor Authority Philippines. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We'll keep bringing you the latest in defense tech strategic analysis, and what it means for our country and the region. Stay sharp, stay informed. See you in the next video.